Hello there and welcome back to Going Medieval. Now in today's episode our main focus is going to be to uh, build this beautiful, well hopefully beautiful, bit of a production blacksmith warehouse and uh, yeah this uh, little complex in here. So let me pull up this blueprint. I did have to mess around off camera a little bit just to get the design right because with the supports as well and the stability it was a little tricky at times so so yeah we'll do the tour a little bit later but for now I'll do my best to turn it into a bit of a time lapse and then once the settlers have completed it we'll get back into and have a look around what we what we have here. Okay, I think that should be the end of the downloads. For some reason it seems they are not able to build those floors in here, so we'll have to investigate in a second. But for the time being, let's uh let's take a look at what we have. Yeah, there's a few few bits still left, but uh let's try and fix it. So right, on the um, back corner here, this is where our production zone for clay bricks uh is going to be. And then we have a few of those smelting furnaces as well to break down any any of the resources. And they are surrounded by this stone wall. Now I did also notice they haven't managed to construct those two floor bits here. So maybe we'll have to take off one of those uh, fences there. And then in this corner we are going to set this to, I think, clay and maybe some uh, other resources that we can burn down or break down in here as well. Now the main entrance is just uh, left to the main gate. There's going to be, oh, l let's try again. Uh, they can go through here and then into the back smelting sort of zone or breaking weapons down. And then we can go in a couple of windows around the, uh, the building here itself as well. So let's bring this down a level and maybe hide the roof, roofs as well. Okay, uh, indoors I have not put down any decorations yet because I wanted to let them build the house first. And then we have the blacksmith's forge over here. And right next to it is the armorer's table. So all it now needs is a bit of light, a few decorations and to turn it into a workshop as well so that they could get this uh, bonus. 
Then um, just behind over here, we have another... And now we can bring the roofs back up again. We have another entrance. And that is going to be for the warehouse itself. So they can walk in. There's a bit of flooring missing here. And is that the same for behind? Yep, it is. Okay. They'll go straight up the stairs. In this little space, we'll just transfer anything. Any kind of resources we'll keep here. It's not a huge amount of space for them. But none of the weapons will be going here. The weapons is mostly, mostly going to be in this location. And now I'd actually like to see what's going on. Oh, it's the stability. Right. Okay, so I think we can fix this by putting one of those support beams in here. Okay, let's see if that helps. And that's probably to do with, do we have anything? Oh no, we don't have anything underneath. Okay, yeah, we'll just put a support beam in there and then they should be able to construct the floor and hopefully the roof bit here as well. Okay, we'll speed up the time just a tiny bit. Oh no, it's the evening already. Yeah, let's see if that changes anything. But uh, if it doesn't, then we'll, we'll have another look. And that's a little awkward as well. What's going on here? Should I have some clay bricks? Is it the access for some reason? They're sleeping. Well, we'll give it a try tomorrow when they, when they wake up. Going back to the comments from the previous episode, so... I, it seems that um, this design with Merlons is the nicest of the three so far. I have removed the high high roof bit over here and um, there was another request that we could even try and turn this roof around here. Oh, let's try this again. Wrong click. So we could put in something like this and then extend it over the, what's it called, the um, little balcony that we have in here as well. But I think you might agree that it could potentially look a little bit awkward with the how it connects with the other roof over here. But uh, let's put it in place and let's see what it looks like. Okay, we do have the floor. No, we don't. Okay, they've just uh, finished their morning errands. So we should see them coming to fix this floor, hopefully very soon. I oh, know you've decided this uh, roof here is more important. Okay, fair enough. Let's uh, grab Polly. Why can't you... Oh, stability in here as well. Well, that's a little awkward because... Ah, I see. Okay, let me try and fix this. It's because they haven't constructed this... Uh, floor bit in here but do we ah yes we do need it because that's going to be a little bit longer one okay that's fine we'll take this beam out from here and we'll put in a temporary uh, staircase once they do that I think we already have someone that's on to this one okay and let's put stairs over there you're still idle why aren't you building those floors it can't be the stability again. Polly. Okay, he's getting resources now. Let's see what happens. Yeah, they should be able to build this because underneath there's nothing that's mined out. And okay, there we go. Well, hopefully they will start constructing all that. And yeah, we do have wood as well, so that's all good. Okay, everything else seems to be going a little bit low right now, especially with clay bricks. And it seems we might not have a lot of clay left, so we might have to take a quick look around the map a little bit later. And then, uh, well, there's a spot over here that actually could give us quite a lot of clay. Uh, it just depends whether we want to mine it out so close to our kingdom. Are there any other spots? There's a little bit here that we could use. But the rest, yeah, there isn't a whole lot of clay. We got a ton because we were digging up all the underground before. That gave us a lot of clay. But right now the expansion is, isn't really needed. So we, yeah, I guess our clay 
stock has gone down a little bit. Then other resources we should have. Yeah, lots of limestone as well. Right. Why is no one building this set of stairs over here? We can still access these trees, right? Yeah, and we should have a lot of logs. Okay. And there we go. We are starting to get the floor bits in, which also means the roofs are now accessible. So they are just finishing off that last bit in there. Okay, so magnificent. That's looking pretty good. And yeah, so here's what it could look like if we uh, were to implement this kind of system. And we could, of course, extend it a little bit as well. So do let me know if this uh, is something we might want to keep. If not, then we'll most likely go with the Merlons over here. Polly, are you stuck? Um, no, you're not. Okay, just idle. And we'll put that last link back in place as well. Would love for someone. Someone else is doing it. Katarina, okay, that's fine. Well, at least we have a little bit in place now and we can relocate all our weaponry and stuff. So we'll probably want to open those windows actually as well, just to let a little bit of air into this building. That's going to be probably pretty warm inside. And uh, OK, well, there we go. That's uh, pretty much where it needs to be. Now, I was also thinking what to do with this space in here and um, we might leave it open just as it is right now because let me just show you if we put those roof bits in do we want to waste any of that clay right now probably not let me just use a different material that we have a lot so maybe wood that looks almost the same but with this roof over here if we put it this way it might look a little bit more interesting, but I wasn't entirely sure. So let's just make it out of wood for the time being, whilst we don't have a lot of spare resources and everyone's so idle right now. Well, that's interesting. I thought they might have more jobs to do, but seems like no. Uh, right, so mining. Now we got everything. Yeah, we don't need a whole lot more limestone, but we could get some more. Anyways, okay. So with the workshop now done, we'll, all we have to do is just re or set them up actually. And we'll do them until we have, let's go 200 first. And now holding down shift, we can increase it by 100. So let's do 1500. I really wish the we had the option to copy the recipes into the other ones as well. But it seems uh, right now it's not really implemented just yet. Now with them ones, what we'll do is we'll just back them down and after the auto save, okay, there we go. We'll back them down and when some merchants come in here, we can just uh, sell it to them and hopefully increase their favor towards us as well. Right, okay, so what I'll probably do as well, we'll have a uh, few different lights, some flags around this place in here. And then in the comments, there was also a bit of discussion about the, the cathedral or the churches. Now, if I bring up the trees again, so we can see what it looks like in inside the inner, inner walls. So this is the space we have, and I think we'll keep going with a four wide sort of walkway. But initially, I was also thinking maybe we could do like a bigger cathedral here that potentially goes into the wall. I'm not sure if I want to go through the wall just yet. Yeah, not entirely sure if that would ruin the looks of the, the inner walls. But we don't really have to worry about anyone attacking us from this side unless, of course, they all bring along those massive catapults again and uh, then yeah they'll be uh, able to target us from here but all the melees and ranged people or the raiders they they have they're forced to go around because we've dug this little um like a canal or a moat in here just to keep this back area safe for the time being at least 
And uh, again, we might do a potentially the mine idea here. A um, bit of forestry. I want to change this up as well. They're too bunched together, I feel. But with the cathedral or the churches, yeah. So once this smithy area or the armory uh, goes, then um, yeah, we could... I'm still not entirely sure whether we should do two different builds here. So for the two types of churches that they are, or the religions. And um, or, or go with a more one bigger building and then uh, what could happen is is that um, initially our settlers started out with the same religion and the newer people people that came along brought in uh, different religions there as well. So how we could look at this is we had this church already from the start and as the time progressed we just made a bit of extra space for the different type of religion because then again these people had just survived a devastating plague that wiped out pretty much 90 percent of the population so i don't think they'll be well at least i hope they won't be too picky when it comes to whether their church is gonna be but you'll never know right anyways we do have a raid so let's hide the trees and see what it what's here. Okay, so they haven't brought in the heavy cavalry this time. And what do we have? One short bow, two short bows, one long one. Okay, so three ranged. Is that it? Okay, and how many of you? Fifteen. All right. Well, let's uh, let's do another kingdom defense then. And I'm pretty happy they came during daytime as well. So that should be pretty good. Which way are you guys, guys going to go? Right, of course, they're going to go for the pyres out there. And right, let's bring in all of our ranged people. So is that all of you? Yes, it is. And I think you're going to come just up there. If you can, please. All of our melees. Uh, Greg, Sanchez, Pixie. Uh, this reminds me, still haven't sorted out their weaponry. But I think with the help of our range, the crossbows and bows, we should be able to wipe the enemies out pretty, pretty quickly. At least so we hope. Okay, is everyone coming over? Yep, seems our range team is on the walls now. Tim, Polly, Potato, Kuist over here as well. And what? Who's this? Don't tell me it's the. No, that's Henrik. Henrik. Uh, it would be great if you joined the team as well. Yep, be a team player. Now let's speed up the time just a tiny bit. And here they come with our melee team. What we'll do is let's bring you over there, just a little bit closer. And as soon as they'll reach us, okay. What's the range? Actually, I think we're gonna bring our melees out already. Because they are starting to get pretty pretty close. Okay, we've got a few more. Yep, we're just gonna taunt you. And you know what? Let's get in there. Slow down the time a little bit. Oh no, Greg's taking a hit. But the enemy forces have already lost pretty much most of most of their people uh right i see what's going on here let's try and bring you a little bit closer do you know what oh never mind they are already gone they've been wiped off the face of the earth and actually let us go from here oh never mind our arches are just too strong so some of you go this way and he's gone as well. Is that it? I believe that's it. Everyone's gone. Okay. Well done, team. That was a very clean job. And now what we'll also do is let's just uh, get rid of this mess. This reminds me we probably have to set up... Uh, wait a second. I believe we are missing something here. And okay, we have to deconstruct the... The stairs first, and then we can put in the missing roof bit as well. 
Okay, so in here we can now finally start producing some mechanical components. So how about we keep you to 15? And for fuel, do you know what? We have so many sticks. Why don't you just use sticks? Uh, when making mechanical components, we don't want to use gold or steel. Let's just use iron because that's pretty uh, plentiful around the map. And with you, I think we'll have to set you up for destroying things again. So everything that's good quality or below shall be breaking down here. And we'll probably do the same, same with you as well. Okay, break everything down. And hopefully we start burning or cleaning up some of those bodies here as well. And I also noticed this road is actually a little broken there. Okay. Now, another thing that's quite funny is we still haven't built any of those traps. And um, to be honest, I'm not really sure if we are going to need them, at least not just yet. I don't, I kind of don't want to place them right in front of our gates. It uh, feels a little odd. I mean, I know the friendly fire when it comes to traps, at least. I don't think they can get injured anymore. They can just walk through through pretty much so yeah we could place them everywhere where we wanted to but if we try and keep some realism here then i guess the traps would not be in front of our main gates especially with all the traders coming in as well i i don't believe we want to injure them uh right that seems to be done over here so we can finally put in the missing roof and then that's going to be done. Right, we also have those last three roof bits in here. So, yes, I know they're different material. They look different, but just uh, have a look at if this kind of style with those three different sort of lengths of the, of the roof, if it fits here, I guess. Now that I look at it as well, it sort of could look okay. But yeah, I'll just wait for your comments and we'll see what we want to do about it. Right, now, looking at this level again, it is really dark and we'd love to turn it into a bit of a workshop. So, where are you again? Okay, wall decorations and I believe we need the... Do we need the pottery shelf or... No, it was the tool. So, we'll have to place down just a couple of them. And maybe one of you could go here... And we'll do one next to the blacksmith. Maybe about here would make sense. And then uh, what I'd also like to have in here is a bit more light. So I guess one could go there. We'll put one right next to the tool shelf. One even behind them. Just to light, the, light up the workspace a little bit. Same with you over here can we put them on the no we cannot okay so that's a bit of a shame but oh well and we'll do another one there as well so that should light up the workspace just a little bit and we are also missing a bit of a floor there okay how about you let's do can we yep that seems to be good let's put a couple there um yeah i know the roof is right above it and and uh, hopefully it's not going to burn it down. So we just need another floor there. That's good. And when it comes to this section here as well. We can probably just copy you over. Not expand. Let's do a straight up copy there. And I'd like to remove all the warfare. Yep. A barrel probably as well. So just the resources is what we shall store in here. Okay, so that's good. And now what we can do is we'll do the opposite here. We'll remove all the materials and structures. So hopefully they'll bring it over. Okay, now in these bits, if we can, I think it's all soil or grass in here, right? So we could make this a tiny bit nicer by using red current straps just around here did you not connect up uh let's try again where's the expansion this one 
Okay, there we go. Now it's all connected up. And that's going to make it look hopefully a little bit nicer. Well, the game doesn't have a whole lot of decorations in just yet. Yeah, there's the pyres, fences. We got some, uh, well, these are kind of decorations, but they're also used to turn rooms into specific rooms to get bonuses. So, uh, yeah, we can still use a few, but other than that, it's just banners over here. Around the furniture as well. There isn't too many things. And I think I was right. I think we are out of clay indeed. So where shall we mine this? I mean, we could probably get more from the cave area as well. But if we go down here, um, I don't know how far we want to keep going. Because if we are going to do this cathedral and relocate the main entrance towards here, then don't want to accidentally dig out more than I have to because right now already building that cathedral here might be impossible or very tricky because we've removed so much earth underneath so we have to basically build those walls to keep their highest ability directly above them as soon as we start building them on beams then the stability is gonna drop by one so if I remember correctly max stability is Four. If we check one of you, yep, four in here. The bottom one is four as well. And every time we go, I'm uh, not really able to see them with the floors, but it should go down by one when we start extending those wall bits there. Okay, so I think we are... Oh, wow, okay, they've already moved pretty much most things over. But we still have a lot of stuff in here, so... Most likely going to need to expand that warehouse into elsewhere as well. But for the time being, well, we've got a bit of a bonfire. A few more corpses. About seven left, but that should be cleaned up in no time as well. And do we already have some of those torches in? I believe so. Yep, starting to look much nicer indoors. And we do have an event for another settler, so... Let us welcome, what do you have? Tailoring, mining, ooh, melee and medicine, great. Welcome to the cave, we don't have enough beds. However, let's uh, see, where are our bedrooms? Are you sure we don't have enough beds? Oh, really? Oh dear. Okay, well, I guess um, I'm gonna have to expand towards this zone in here and that's gonna be tricky again because if you have been following the series when we built this uh, this area here it was a bit of a pain because yeah we've got the got the rooms underneath but um, not to worry it's not very interesting to watch this so I will construct this off camera because right now I believe we're almost out of time so so yeah let us know what do you think about this uh, roof bit style or the cover that we have here. If that's not the way to go, then we'll probably turn some of the other sides into the Merlon looking bit as well. And the very minor detail here is just the roofing. I think maybe, um, yeah, the two options were we take the roofs out or we extend the clay one over this section as well. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.